Hola clase, ¿cómo están? In this video, I'm going to explain the verb gustar. So in this video, I'm going to explain the verb gustar in Spanish, which expresses liking. So gustar means to like or to please. And when we conjugate gustar, we don't conjugate it like we do normal AR verbs. So normally with AR verbs in the present tense, we add the o, as, a, amos, ais, an endings. But with gustar, notice we only use two forms of the verb. We use the third person singular, gusta, okay? And we use the third person plural, gustan. So for now, those are the only two forms of the verb gustar that we're gonna use, gusta and gustan. What does change are the pronouns. So we have me, te, le, nos, os, and les. And these are indirect object pronouns, and they indicate who is doing the liking. So when I say me gusta in Spanish, that literally translates to it pleases me. When in English though, we say I like, right? So me gusta means I like, but it's literally it pleases me. Te gusta would be you like, or it pleases you. Le gusta would be he or she likes, or you formal likes, or it pleases he or she, or you formal. Nos gusta would be we like, or it pleases us. Os gusta would be you all like, or it pleases you all. And les gusta would be it pleases you all, or you all like. So whenever the thing that you like uh, is singular, we use the singular form of gusta, or gustar. So gusta, 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 okay? Whenever the thing that you like is plural, we use the plural form of gustar. We use gustan. Okay, so when you're using this structure, think about what it is that you like, or he likes, or she likes, or we like, or they like. And if it's singular, it's going to be gusta. If it's plural, it's going to be gustan. Muy bien. So what if uh, it's a verb that we like or that pleases us? If it's a verb, we always use the singular form of gustar. And we leave the verb in the infinitive. So for example, me gusta bailar would be, I like to dance. Or quite literally, to dance pleases me. Me gusta comer would be, I like to eat. But literally, that's to eat pleases me. Me gusta escribir, I like to write. Or to write pleases me. Muy bien. So, when what we like is something singular, as I mentioned previously, we use the singular form of gustar. So that part isn't going to change. What does change is the pronoun, okay, depending on who is liking. So for example, if I want to say, I like the class, I would say, me gusta la clase. Or, the class pleases me. If I want to say, they like the class, I would say, les gusta la clase. Or, the class pleases them. If I want to say we like the class, I would say nos gusta la clase, and that would be the class pleases us. And finally, if I want to say you like the class, I would say te gusta la clase, and again, that's the class pleases you. So notice, in all of these forms, the verb gustar doesn't change, but the pronoun does, depending on who is doing the liking. Muy bien. So if I take that previous uh, example and I add uh, or if I change la clase to las clases, so now I'm making it plural, okay? So now instead of liking the class, I like, you like, we like, they like, the classes, okay? Uh, now we have to change the verb to the plural form. So now it's gustan in every single one of these forms. Why? Because what we like now is plural. So for example, me gustan las clases. That would be, I like the classes, or literally, the classes please me. Les gustan las clases would be they like the classes or the classes please them. Nos gustan las clases would be we like the classes or the classes please us. And finally, te gustan las clases would be you like the classes or the classes please you. Muy bien. <clears throat> so here are some other examples. I like to run would be me gusta correr. She likes the book, le gusta el libro. Notice the gustar is going to be the same, okay? 
they like the movie would be les gusta la película. And a, a very common mistake uh, amongst beginners is when they see the they, people automatically want to put gustan. But you have to ask yourself, if the thing that is being pleasing or if the thing that you like is singular, that means uh, the form of the verb gustar has to be singular as well. So they like the movie is not gustan, it's gusta. What does change is les, right? So les gusta la película would be how you say that. And that's literally the movie pleases them. They like the movies. So now we've changed movie to movies. We've made it plural. So now we are going to use that um, third person plural form of the verb gustar. So now it's going to be les gustan las películas. And that's going to translate to the movies please them. Muy bien. OK, so um, a, another very common mistake is people, when they want to say I like, they tend to want to conjugate gustar normally, like they do other AR verbs. And they say yo gusto. Um, but just remember, you cannot say yo gusto for I like. So how do we say I like? Me gusta or me gustan. Good. So there are uh, several verbs that behave just like gustar. And here I've listed just four of them. So we have encantar, to really like. Um, molestar, which means to annoy or to bother. Interesar, which means to be interested in. Uh, and importar, which is to, to be important or to matter. So for example, if I want to say I really like, um, instead of saying encanto, I would say me encanta. Um, if I want to say I'm interested in, uh, if, instead of saying yo intereso, I would say me interesa. And then finally, if I want to say something is important to me or something really matters, I wouldn't say yo importo, I would say me importa. Muy bien. Uh, so eso es todo. That's it. I hope you enjoyed clase. Muchas gracias y hasta la próxima.